So a couple of weeks ago, I was watching some YouTube at some ungodly hour of the night, and I came across a video by Isabel Page. She's an amazing young minimalist and um, just an awesome chick. I'm going to link her down in the description. I would highly recommend checking out her channel. Anyways, so after watching this video, I thought... I think I'm going to become a minimalist. And so I did. <laughs> and it wasn't easy, let me tell you. So this is the big bag of clothes that I have got rid of. It's so heavy I can't even like lift it up. It's oh. so so far I would say that becoming a minimalist has been pretty good so far. I would suggest to anyone whether or not you want to be a minimalist, I would just suggest going into your wardrobe and throwing away some of the clothes that you haven't worn because it's actually for me it was very therapeutic um i will show you in a minute but my wardrobe has shrunk quite a bit and um something that i i always thought that i was pretty i didn't have i always thought that i didn't have many clothes but i actually I actually did have a lot of clothes, as you can tell. <laughs> I think the amount of clothes I have now will be able to fit into the van when we go into the van, which is going to be good. So I don't have to worry about that. There might have to be a few more items of clothing that I have to get rid of. I think it will be able to fit with the amount of clothes that I have. So, and I've actually... Also, I'm going to show you, I only have like three pairs of shoes, which is weird. I never thought I would, <laughs> like, that's crazy to me. Anyways, so I'm going to go and show you my clothes now. So let's go. Okay, so this is my wardrobe. I know it looks pretty full right now, um, but if we cut off from here, because these are just old sentimental clothings that I am going to keep, but I'm not bringing in the van with me. And then from here, because this is belts and these, I, I still have to get rid of some of, like, a lot of this stuff, so just ignore that for now. But only this part in the middle from here to here is my wardrobe so these are my shoes that i'm keeping um i lied there's actually four and probably five because i need to get a pair of fancy uh, shoes for when i'm wearing when i need to wear go you know for when i'm going out and um and wearing my dresses so i'm probably just going to go online and Look for a pair of shoes that I like that is suitable for all my dresses. And um, yeah, but these are my four pairs of shoes. I've got thongs because, hello, it's Australia. I've got a pair of sneakers and um, I think, yeah, obviously self-explanatory. And I have my vans for just going out every day. I literally wear, th these are pretty much... The shoes that I wear 80% of the time, no joke, I wear those shoes so much. And then I have my Doc Martens and they, I got them for my birthday last year. They were way too expensive and I love them a lot. So there's no way that I'm 
giving them away um so yeah these are my four pairs of shoes my hair uh it's actually mm, there's a mirror behind you so i'm looking at the mirror it's it's not looking too bad it is pretty bad like hello um but i stopped washing it i know this isn't necessarily a minimalism thing um i know that really i there is no box to minimalism every every person who calls himself a minimalist practices minimalism in in different ways and it's not only just because of minimalism or anything like that it's just because i don't want to have to bother with my hair when i'm in the van and i don't exactly want to bother with sh my hair in life in general um <laughs> depending on what shampoo you use it can have things like silicone in it um which has like a coating around your hair thing like your hair individual strands and it doesn't allow it to produce like your m allow your scalp to produce oils properly or something i don't know you if you're interested you can go research it but um i've stopped washing it and so far it hasn't been bad at all i've watched quite a few videos of people doing the same thing as me and a lot of them it's like a lot of mixed opinions out there for me um i did notice a difference my hair is a lot oilier but that is also because um i only started doing this a few weeks ago and it does take quite a while for your hair to catch up with like kind of it takes a while for your hair to even out with the production of oil but um something that i've learned is that if i put coconut oil on the bottoms of my hair then the tops of my hair i don't know what happens but somehow it makes the top of my head less oily um so in conclusion more oil on your hair makes less oil in your hair doesn't really make any sense that's really all I do to my hair is put coconut oil on it and rinse it with water every so often and it does the job. So that is one great thing that I don't have to worry about anymore, which is awesome. So something else that I didn't want to throw out because I've pretty much thrown out a lot of stuff, but something that I'm not going to throw out is my paints and my crafts, which are down here and my um embroidery stuff which is the paints they are they only take up that much and in this yellow orange not yellow orange um bag is like all the paint brushes and then over here um it's all in the corner right now because um again everything in my room is like piled up in just different piles because of it's just, I guess it's the way, it's apparently the way that I clean. Um, I didn't know that. But don't mind this JB Hi-Fi bag. Um, so, yeah, this is all my embroidery thread and needles and um, hoop that I don't even use and patches and stuff. So that I'm all going to keep because I love doing this stuff. And painting I love because I'm going to go across my room and you'll see some of the mess. But, um... Up there is kind of where I, I paint my wall. Also, minimal, this minimalism thing, I I don't know what it is. I just, it's been making me feel a lot happier and a lot more full, which is ironic because you're throwing away stuff. And just having like a cleaner room has been really nice. And um, yeah, that's just another thing that I've reduced a whole bunch like this is probably from before this is like maybe a quarter of what i had yeah maybe a third i'm in denial i don't want to jump into this van and travel around in this tiny little space with my family and also not be used to the fact that i don't have many things um I don't, I think I use, I don't think, yeah, I don't think I use many of the stuff that's in my room. I use 
the stuff that I'm keeping. Um, but it's just more of the fact that I still have the stuff, like I still can have it. And I don't want to go into the van and um, go from having all this stuff to having nothing overnight. And um, I think me being used to it first, especially with my clothes, me being used to not having as many clothes or being used to not having as many things um, will be easier when I'm in the van because, to be quite honest, no matter how aesthetic the photos are on Instagram, van life is not going to be easy and I know that. It's going to be worth it and it's going to be a lot of fun, I know, but it's not going to be easy because I'm just going to be stuck in this small space sometimes with three other people of my family and we're going to have arguments and maybe it's raining so we can't, we don't really want to go outside or maybe we're in a parking lot of some random shop, so grocery store or something. So yeah, um, <laughs> so I just want to, I just want to get used to some of the things now while I can before I go into the van if that makes any sense I think it does but yeah so that's some of the stuff that I've got rid of there's a ton more but I don't want to bore you with a hour-long video going through all the stuff that I've chucked away <laughs> because I don't think anyone would enjoy watching that So I hope you enjoyed this video this week. I really do apologize for um, not posting over the last couple months, but it's been because the van has been at the mechanic, actually multiple mechanics. Um, it's been a bit of a annoying situation to say the least, but um, hopefully the van will be back soon and we can start doing work on it and I can make more videos because I really enjoy, I really enjoy making videos, honestly. I really hope that you enjoyed the video, um, and if you did, feel free to, you know, subscribe or like the video. It lets me know that, um, you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!